Okej, okay. TLV time. Toplist Thursday. Yeah, and this time we're going to speculate a bit. Yeah. We're going to talk about what we what we think will be the top five draft archetypes yeah, in, in the, Eldritch Moon. Yeah. I mean, dub, two Eldritch Moon and one Shadows of Shadow, yeah. and when you, do, you, you don't count sealed in this. It's No, this is just for drafting. Yeah. And we're going to base it on... Uh, how the last format was combined with, I guess, the pre-release and some people yeah. we have talked to. We have not played draft yet, so this is no. us speculating. But I think it could be a decent discussion. Yeah. Some of our friends have played drafts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there, there are some articles to read about them. Yeah. So this is just what we think, and yeah. then we'll see. Yeah. I mean, as soon as we can, we will start making videos, and uh, hopefully, this is a nice format. Yeah. Okay, no. so number five. Yeah, there we have put uh, white, red, aggro. And this is be- th- this was a deck in Shadows. It was early early in the format. It won GPs and stuff. <coughs> yeah, people, people didn't know how to play it. No. And uh, re- aggro always is good in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and, and it seems like, because red seems like it's probably the best color. Together with green and then followed by white. Yeah, I red has gotten a, got a lot of good spells. A lot of good gar- cards, a lot of good burn spells. I mean, you have removal for one mana instant. You have exiling removal for two mana. Mm-hmm. And that also goes to the head. And you have a lot of, I mean, good stuff. And white has gotten some mass, mass pump spells. You can do instant escalate. The, yeah, the plus two plus O to the whole team. That could be plus two plus two. Yes. Uh, and stuff like that. So... Uh, we think that this will be a deck now when we start the format. Especially and will, in the beginning. And it will also be probably a good deck. You could draft red-white right now if we played Shadows over Innistrad and... Still go 3-0, yeah. So we have it at number five. Yeah. And for number four, we have the blue-green emerge slash investigate. <laughs> yeah. Because the thing is, it will be, it will be uh, emerge... In the two, first two packs. And in then the you, you will get the, the weird clue value part. Hopefully you will get some in, good investigate cards in the last pack. It's not 100% sure. No. So, okay. And I guess there is like a... a get the blood briar yeah, the one triggers that's from all sacrifice. You, you can both sacrifice clues and you can emerge. Yeah, so this will be an important card... I guess for the deck, or yeah. at least, or at least it will be this deck that w- wants the the blood, riders. the blood riders. No one else will want. Them. If you don't have some weird black green side, but I don't think that really exists. No, you could maybe have it. But uh, and then so, you have foul emissary. It's a good card to yeah. to emerge. And the rampant growth guy. The, and the, yep. there are some stuff you could also maybe splash blue. Uh, no, no. no you, you, <laughs> you could also maybe play play the the, the blue. 2-2 two, two, two that draws a card. Yeah. The 0-2 that puts in a 3-2. Yeah, whatever. And uh, th- the problem with this could be that it could be pretty hard to get together. Yeah, because of the the first two packs, they want you to emerge. Yeah. And the last pack doesn't want you to emerge uh, anything. You, you need to find the cards you want to... I mean, you, you still need to play good cards. You need removal. Yeah. You need sack outlets. You need maybe two, at least two good emerge creatures, maybe. Yeah, I think so. And then maybe in the last pack, fill up with stuff that goes with it. Yeah, like Byway Courier is a perfect example for that. Perfect, the perfect. So, but when people get it, I mean, start to uh, get how they ha- are supposed to draft it, yeah, it we, will probably we think be, this will be good. But we only have it at number four because we don't know. No, yeah. That's Could maybe correct. be number one. We don't know. Yeah. Number three, we have blue red spells. This time around, what we know so far, we uh, we have a friend that has drafted three times. Mm-hmm. Two of the times, the drafts I think has been won by blue red spells. If we don't recall uh, uh, correctly, and. Uh, yeah, it just seems like it was a good deck if you knew how to draft it, but it was pretty hard. Was but pretty now hard. you have the cards that the pinger that untaps, the one for that shoots creatures. Yeah, and, and the most important thing, what I think, is that last in the Shadows of Rinsal, there was the red green werewolf 
Red were, were heavily drafted. Yeah. But in this this time around, Red isn't heavily drafted, I think. Because Red Green isn't that, that good. No, but still, Red Blue will be good. Red White will probably be good. And Red yeah, is but, a good... But it's only... It's only it's not like it was before when it was like three or four decks that no, really maybe. wanted red. Now no. it will be like two or three. So, but, but there are a lot of good new red spells. Yeah, so the deck has gotten. And we we actually played two intro decks uh, at the pre-release. Yeah, the blue red. Yeah. The blue red intro deck was very fun to play with. Yeah. So even if that, this will not be the best, I, I I think it will be one of the really fun archetypes. I think so too. And if you draft it correctly, open some good stuff. I think it will be very good also. Yeah. You can still pick up a Pyrehound, you can still pick up random prowess guys, you can still uh, play with all the payoff cards if you get a rise from the tides or something from the, the, the last and pack. And Fever Divisions just became a lot better with this this time around, I think. Because yeah, so you, you have all the pingers that untap when you play instants now. Yeah. Uh, Those are very annoying. Good blockers, they do a lot of damage. I did 19 damage with one of those, I think, in one game, but I lost yeah. on the pre-release. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, moving on. Blue-red spells, number three. And for number two, we have the black-green Delirium deck. Uh, this could also be Absen or Sultai. Depends, yeah, you could splash. Depending on what you... Since you are green base, often, you can s- splash a color easier. Yes. Because the fixing is very bad in Elish The Moon. fixing is bad in Elish Moon. It's not that much better in Shadows of Inisa, but at least then you have Fork and Road and... Uh, Fork and Road, Vessel... Vessel of... Uh, P- Nascency. Nascency. Uh, that can actually filter it through your deck and find the lands. So. Yeah, and now you have a card that's similar to the Vessel. You also have... Grapple with the Past is Grapple a decent past, yeah. card. And you had the, the one that investigated and gave you two mana of any color. Mm-hmm. So green is the, co- the best color if you want to splash. Yeah. So that's why black green can splash. And, <clears throat> yeah. and, and the, the, the payoff <clears throat> with the Delirium deck is still there, I think. Yeah. You still have a lot of good cards that, that you get a lot of value from Delirium. Yeah, what you want to look at is first, do you have the enablers? In Shadows, we had it. Yeah. With Vessel, Fork and Road. If you were lucky, you could get some uncommon enablers in the uh, Crawling Sensation, card like that. Mm-hmm. Now we have the, the, the Grapple with, with the Past and some other cards. The, you have uh, uh, black uh, creatures that self mill. You have, th- there are ways to enable. Yeah, there's also <clears throat> the crop. Uh... The new uncommon. Yeah, even though that's we don't know how good that will. No, be. but I think it's 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 still uh, d- enabling delirium. Yeah, there there are enablers, and you can still pick up some enablers from the last pack, even though you can't count of on course, it. Of course, of uh, course. Uh, and and then you can ask yourself if if there is any payoff. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, it seems like there are some good delirium creatures. I think so too. Uh, and you can still, if you're alone on the archetype, you can still get a lot of delirium in the last pack also. Yeah. Uh, even though, I mean, Shadows was a bigger set, so there were more cards that had this, the, the word delirium, delirium on it. Of course, but uh, there, there are still, and, and as we said, this doesn't have to, have to be blue, uh, black, green. You can splash blue or white, and, yeah. and, and you can play emerge cards in this also. archetype as well. So, yeah, I, I think I like this. The, the, the nice part about the black-green base is that you can... Be a little bit delirium, be a little bit human, be a little bit... Uh, yeah, everything just melts together. That are within those colors. So <clears throat> you can have 60% something and then have delirium on top of it. Yeah. So it, it, if you are good at drafting the format, when you start to get it together, the, uh, the, these colors will probably be a good base. I think so. And we're moving on now to our number one. And uh, that's green-white humans. And again, these can also be green-white humans with a little delirium theme. Yeah, it, it, it will, I, I think it will be. Yeah. Uh, it could also have... Because the, the human merge. deck was not 100% human in Shadows no, no. either. If you were lucky, you could get some rare humans that yeah. benefited a lot from having a lot of humans. But it was never 100% humans. But now you have Hamlet Captain. That pumps the whole team while attacking and blocking. Yeah. On uncommon, I think. You have a courageous outrider, the four mana three four that very good finds you a human that draws you a good card basically. Yeah. And there are some more cards even in 
Eldritch Moon that cares about humans. Yep. And you can still get uh, uh, the the <clears throat> the true fate sensors. You can still get the the four mana three three that pumps the whole team. Yeah. Uh, the the one that gets plus two plus two and trample to a human. There are still commons that you can pick up in the last pack. And both green and white were very good in, in Shadows of Rhinestrad and they haven't gotten worse. No, no, no. Green, green is still very good and white is almost as good. I think so. so. I, I say green, white and red are the three best. Then you have black and then, then you have blue as more of a support color. Yeah. It seems. Yeah. Uh, so green, white humans was a very good deck together with Delirium. I think those were the best decks. And it looks like it can be as good and there are st- <coughs> and, and there are white mythics in this set as well that you really want to open yeah. angels <laughs> so white the, always get the good myths yep nowadays yep. and green has a lot of broken uncommons i guess and blue blue <coughs> blue gets the worst <laughs> we, we could talk quick about the five archetypes that we have not mentioned here uh, yeah because we have so we have five archetypes over that we think either is still bad or has gotten a bit worse. Yeah. So we have the, the, the black red aggro slash vampire, which could come together, but it was never top five for me. No, it shadows. was never top five in shadows. And even if you got the the you had to get like Olivia and stuff. If you, or if or, you... or have like vampire aggro and good madness and good discard. Yeah. And have fiery tempers yeah. and lightning. Yeah, like... that's good discard. Yeah. Guess. And good uh, good madness. You, you need to get a good, really good spells. Obviously, if it's open, you should still draft it. But we just yeah. don't, don't think it's top five. No. And uh, also, red green werewolf probably was top five in shadows. You could argue for it. I never drafted Regal Red Green. No, because it was never open. No. I drafted it twice and it was pretty good. Because you could play like uh, Hinterland Logger on turn two, your opponent stumble on mana and you and could just run win. them over. Yeah. If you curved with werewolves and your opponent maybe didn't have enough spells to play, it was very good. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was beat down deck yeah but now in Eldritch Moon all the the, the normal flip werewolves have, are gone uh, if you don't count the mythic Ulrich yeah but you don't count that no uh, because and now you have they, they are they are pretty good the mana one yeah, yeah the, they, they, are, they are some good werewolves but they're, they're not the same not 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 as uh, they're more mid-range good creatures yeah and, and they cost like seven or eight mana to flip them yeah so. you cannot be as broken with uh, uh, werewolf aggro no anymore no uh, <clears throat> and then we have white blue I guess flying uh, never I, I guess it had it had a, some. It had a deck in Shadows of Rhinestrad. If you played the tempo version, yeah, uh, which basically just tried to lock down, tap down, bounce, and then hit with flyers in yeah, the air. Yeah, but if that deck was horrible, if you if you stumbled, yeah, if you missed, a you two, could never come back from behind with no, the deck. No, 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 and uh, you, you, it was you. Ha- it had to be open. You had to get the good flyers. Uh, so <clears throat> we don't know. It doesn't seem like white blue has gotten much now. No, there are some spirits, but they're mostly rare, rare or, yeah. uh, or. And I don't think we should count you. Op- obviously, if you op- open some good rares in white and blue, and the and the the, the archetype is open, just yeah, go for sure, it. Sure, sure. I mean, no, none of them looks like it's non-playable. No, uh, but we're not counting it as top. Uh, we have also white black, <clears throat> which is what. Yeah. <laughs> You could Bef- play aggro. Before it was like white, black, skulk, aggro with the, the <laughs> that, enchantment. That deck never worked. No. But w- when you played white, black, delirium, yeah, that, that, that could, could be powerful. Uh, uh, if you open a lot of black uncommons. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah you had the, you had the witch. Um, you didn't have to play green to get it to work, but it was all, all, always better with green. Yeah, but white black was a deck, but not the deck they intended. That was like skulk, small creatures go wide. Aggro didn't work. No. I don't think it will work now either. No. And late, lastly, we have blue black control zombie. Yeah, and this is a this could be very good. Very good if you open the, you, the good cards. Yeah, the, the the problem with this deck is that the best cards are in the rare slot. Yeah, and sure, there is like a a, a common. You, you, you get a zombie back from your graveyard and you draw a card mm. if it's a zombie. We have card. already seen uh, 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 like one or two wor- really good versions that has opened the, the good black and blue rares. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, you and then you can pair it with uh, obviously commons and uncommons and, and get it together. But I don't think it's reliably as good. No, that neither. you can draft it good every time. No. So yeah, that that was the archetypes. Let's hope uh, we're not that far off. No. And we really want. We're going to draft this on Sunday, I think. But that's in yeah. pa- paper, and then, and then next, next week... weekend there's a GP coming. Yeah, we, we will be doing two drafts as soon as we can. Yeah. So okay, until then we yeah have a nice top top list. summer. Bye bye bye.